soon start your journey at a four-year institution. And this semester may be the last semester on the Cerritos College campus, at least for now, right? Here's they're going to come back, right? Okay. Our next speaker was in your same shoes about a year ago. So if there's anyone in this room that understands how you are feeling at this moment, it would be her. Before attending Cerritos College, she served in the Army for four years, and thus was a transfer student with out-of-state transcripts. I remember clearly when she mentioned she had Maryland transcripts at one of our workshops. I am almost positive there was a long pause before I said my next word. You see, for a counselor, anytime there is a student, a transfer student with multiple transcripts, the first thing we need to do is take a deep breath because you never know the complexity of the transcripts when evaluating for university admissions requirements. The deep breath paid off because only one class was completed in Maryland and the rest at El Camino College. <laughs> that was a relief. A year after she started Cerritos, she was ready to start applying to the university. By this time, she had already completed 30 units with a 4.0 GPA. Her second and last year was no different. She earned all A's. She was admitted to her school of choice, USC for the Marshall School of Business. Please join me in welcoming our Cerritos alum and a veteran of our armed forces, Carla Leva. Congratulations, transferring. 